I see in my surgeon there in Denver, I see him again uh, this coming up uh, this week and stuff, and I think everything is good and, and still good to go. And uh, I was hoping for an early fall return. It might be uh, a little later in the fall now or, or uh, early winter. What's it been like in the process? I mean, has it been a you know positive you know heads up the whole way? Are there any moments where you're like, man, is this is this ever going to work right again? Oh no, there's there's definitely been some uh, you know some moments and uh, where I felt I I had setbacks. Uh, there was uh, times, especially when my nerves were regenerating in my left leg, um, <clears throat> you know, in my spinal cord, they're regenerating in the area that they've been compressed for so long. And uh, the times that were when they were regenerating, or the times that I was having difficulty with it, uh, yeah, you know, I, I, I questioned some things and stuff. But uh, my surgeon, you know, he, he's one of the top surgeons in, in what I consider the world. He's the real Doogie Hauser. So, but <laughs> he said uh, it's it's part of the process, and um, you know, we, we just take it step by step. And I continue to see him and. Uh, he reassured uh, my wife and I that everything would be okay later in life, which is obviously the most important thing to me is uh, my family. So uh, to be able to you know, make sure that I can walk my daughter down the aisle, that's uh, way more important than fighting will ever be. So, um, But he's reassured us that everything will be okay and, and uh, that I'll, I'll live a, a normal life when, when uh, I get older. So you know, I'm going to continue to fight and do the things that I love. Have you started training at all, doing any work at this point? Yeah, I, I've been working with uh, Trevor, uh, doing, uh, I've, I've sparred, I, the only person I've actually sparred with is Trevor, uh, you know, my coach, and what is he, he's a soaking 140 pounds or so, but he moves like lightning, so he's a hard target to hit, and, you know, it's just been uh, restricted down to him, just uh, uh, for the case of me getting back to, to full health and stuff, and and working with, uh, you know, a little bit of jujitsu and stuff, but most everything's been done with Trevor. Mentally, how has this been, Shane? It's been over a year since you fought. So mentally, are you just anxious to get back in there? Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, I'm anxious just to, to have my body be at 100% and to be able to compete at the, the level that I, you know, competed at before. It's, you know, I've been competing my whole life since I was six. And, um, <clears throat> You know, t to not be able to compete and or to feel that uh, the types of things that you go through, it can send you into a bit of uh, you know a little bit of depression and stuff when it's something that you've been used to your whole life. So, um, you know, t to be able to get back in there and compete again, it's uh, it's exciting for me. It's exciting for my family. I know, and and uh, I'm getting to the age now though to where. You know, it's probably getting time to, to maybe move on here in a couple of years. And, uh, you know, so, but my goal then still won't stop with competing. I hope to help out with the Boys and Girls Club and, and give back to what those coaches gave me when I was six and seven. What's your take on the division since you've been gone? Because so much has happened. Yeah, there's, uh, well, everybody's there. <clears throat> That's what's happened to the division. There is no more, there is no more pride. There is no more strike force. There is no other divisions. It's the UFC and that's it. And it's what the fans have always wanted and it's what you guys have always wanted. And it's, you know, I think probably the only way that's like that now. So that's my take on the division is everybody in the world is in the UFC now. What are you going to do? Uh, you know, <clears throat> I've been asked that question and I think the, the major thing for me right now is just to get healthy. I just want to be healthy and, and get back in the octagon and be able to you know fight at 100% again. Shane, how are you in dialogue? Are you in dialogue with your surgeons to help you now try and get back to that fight shape? Oh yeah, um, I, I think my coach is. You know, I'm in dialogue with my surgeon. Uh, not for say that you know, I don't think he's got time to make telephone calls to. You know, he's I'm I'm sitting in the the office and he's getting calls about Peyton Manning and things, so uh, I'm sure he's not concerned about calling Trevor Whitman. <laughs> so, you know, I, uh, I, 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 take, uh, I take care of that, uh, you know, with my coaches and, and talking to the surgeon and stuff. Will you need to change the, the style of training now with the, your injury coming back? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think, uh, you know, once I get back and, you know, the body's at, uh, at 100%, you know, if I have to change my style up, then it's probably time to retire. Do you think you're going to have any trouble getting past the mental break of knowing that you're 100% or trying to push to make sure that there's nothing there, nothing wrong? Um, 
you know, no, I don't think there there, there won't be anything like that. I, I know some of you guys have been around. I know Ron's been around and, and seen me in, in my camps when I've had troubles with my back before. I know Connor's been there and stuff and, and seen me miss, uh, you know, the weeks in my camps because my back has given me fits and it's given me fits, you know, all the way back to the, the Frank Muir fight. In terms of your uh, approach to training, is you going to do anything different though? I mean, like maybe a more emphasis even on, on cardio, how important it is? You're going to put oh, more into that? Always, cardio is always important. And, you know, I think that's one of the things that, uh, you know, fighters and uh, as we all evolve, uh, more and more people it seems to like to, to join your team. I think the, the fight that I was in the best shape for was probably a fight that Trevor Whitman solely pretty much had by himself, and that was my first fight against uh, Christian Wallace. I think it was probably one of the fights that I felt the best with. So... Um, you know, and it, it seems like as you go on and on in this sport, we, people want to contact you and become more and more a part of your team, and they got the greatest and best this out there and that, and, and uh, <clears throat> you know, it's, uh, I think it's just me going, you know, back with Trevor and the, and the few coaches that I've had in the beginning, and, you know, just stay loyal to those guys and, and Trevor's beliefs, and, you know, I believe in him as a coach, and, and he believes in me, and that goes all the way. What did you think of Junior Dos Santos' last performance against Mir? Uh, <clears throat> you know, it's it's what I expected. Um, Junior, and I, I've told you guys, you know, before, and I think Kane and both Frank got to see that and some other guys as well, is um, Junior's a lot faster in the cage than he is watching him on TV. And, you know, those were the exact words that came out of my mouth after the fight, and that's what came out of Frank's mouth after the fight. He's a lot faster than what he appears to be.